The Philippine military has announced that it is receiving Sabra Ascod light tanks and Pander II armored personnel carriers APCs, from Israel this month in an ongoing modernization program. The 20 Israeli armored vehicles include 105mm guns, 105mm cannons, and automated 120M carrier mortars. According to Armor Division Chief of Staff Colonel Anthony Abrina, the new ground vehicles are real tanks, compared to the country's present armored vehicles, equipped only with low-caliber firearms. Those that are arriving will be the first light tanks for the whole armed forces because its deployment would be more centered on territorial defense, Abrina told Inquirer.net. The current inventory of APCs are for internal security operations. When delivery is complete, the Sabra Ascod light tanks and Pander II armored personnel carriers will be turned over to Camp O'Donnell in Tarlac province. The service will also hire personnel for maintenance. In addition to the Sabra Ascod and Pander II APCs, Abrina revealed that the country will take delivery of six-wheeled tanks to replace its four-wheeled armored vehicles. He also said that 10 more light tanks are scheduled for delivery by 2023. The Philippine military currently operates more than 400 APCs of different variants, such as the Simba Fighting Vehicle, V-150 Commando, Armored Infantry Fighting Vehicle, and the M113A1 and A2. Additionally, the Southeast Asian nation will receive several South Korean weapon systems and military equipment, including rocket systems, ammunition, and patrol vessels. Meanwhile, the Philippine Air Force announced that it will receive its first-ever T-129 tactical reconnaissance and attack helicopter from Turkey this month. The aircraft can carry high-powered weapons such as anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, rockets, and a 20M turreted three-barrel gun system. The Sabra light tank is armed with a combination of an Elbit Systems Land 105mm gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. In addition, the armament includes eight 76mm smoke grenade launchers and two optional anti-tank guided missiles. The 105mm 52 caliber coiled barrel, low recoil gun features a thermal shroud for increased probability of hitting the target. The gun is equipped with an integrated muzzle brake system. It fires at a rate of 6 rounds per minute with an effective range of 3,600 meters. The gun uses NATO standard ammunition including armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot, APFSDS, high explosive squash head, HESH, and high explosive plastic tracer, HEPT, rounds. The high explosive multi-purpose tracer, EMPT, M110 round can also be fired from the 105mm gun. It can provide a lethal strike capability with high hit probability and low collateral damage. The ammunition is loaded using an autoloader with a manual backup loading. The tank has 12 ready-to-use ammunition rounds located in the autoloader drum and an additional 24 stored in the hull. The machine gun uses 500 ready-to-fire rounds of 7.62mm and 1,500 rounds stowed in the hull.